stacked upon stacked. I mean, that, that same tournament where you got people like Void and Larry getting 49th, so it's like the, for him mm -hmm. to go out there and get 17th, really good. Fandom Legends two weeks ago ended up getting second place online tournament where he got like 800 plus smackaroos. And he's facing off against Jewel, Robin. There you go. and uh, Daughter versus mother. Yeah. Blades crossing and fates as well. Welcome to winner's final here at Xeno. Okay. 158 and just like that, Jewel, he's going to have to adjust to Mr. E after such an emotional win over Dill by a score of 2-1 to one, as we saw last set. All of a sudden, he's got to face off against the Lucina of Mr. E, who again, this is already one of the most well-rounded characters in the game. And you combine that with uh, one of the most studious players in all of Tri-State, Mr. E, this is a tough proposition for Mr. E. So what are his win conditions in your opinion? Honestly, Mr. E is just got to keep doing what he's doing. He's ledge trapping hardcore, not letting Joel any sort of the stage. Hasn't been hit yet by 19%. Going off stage, you see how safe he's playing. He actually avoided that Nosferatu being thrown out by Jewel because he knows it's one of his options. He's just spacing really well with the Falchion, keeping him off stage. And honestly, that's all he's got to keep doing, man. Mr. E looking dominant. Look more like Mr. D, the D being dominant, and now if Yo. I ever say that again, you have full right to slap No, me. no, man. I, I, I was writing up the backhand real quick. Fair enough. And Mr. E, it, not even not even gentlemanly enough to give his set, the stock to Jewel. He had to, like, throw it away. Doesn't even give him the opportunity to get the kill himself. Oh Gets my the gosh. spike. Okay. That's fine. Wow. Mr. JV3, more like. Honestly, if it wasn't for that SD, that would have been a three-stock free. Like, Mr. Oh, yeah. E was feeling himself. I have never seen Eric play like that in this game. Yet. I mean, there was that time where he was uh, playing last Wednesday at Wednesday Night Fights. Mm -hmm. That uh, famous YouTube set that got almost a million views on YouTube because he's fighting off against Joker in Grand Finals. Managed to pull it out there and win Wednesday Night Fights down in SoCal. So now he's coming back to the East Coast. West Coast won a tournament. East Coast potentially to win yet another one. Smashville for game number two. Let's jump right in. Exactly. Trying to go coast to coast on Jewel as well as we go to Smashville. And... Uh, do you like this? Uh, do you like this counter pick by Jewel? I mean, what does this give? Uh, what does this give him that he didn't? Uh, what, what does Smashville give him? Well, is what I'm trying to say. Well, like, he first, likes this for a reason. Right. So right now, Smashville is going to be kind of like a small stage, right? Going to kind of close the cores a little bit, give a little bit less room for Mystery to play around with, which is kind of confusing because Mister uh, Jewel wants those projectile lengths. He wants to be able to throw out those uh, arc fires, arc thunders, all willy nilly. He's also got that platform to play with underneath. I guess he wants to play like some a little bit platform camping. So honestly, this is just kind of looking like a uh, a comfort pick for Jewel, if anything. It could very well be. He just wants the run back. He wants to prove himself again because he was denied everything, even his revenge for the for the three stock man. He could not uh, he could not take a stock more or less off of Mr. Ian. Indeed, looking to rectify that here in this game number two. But again, fighting an uphill battle. The back air is a good start, but Mr. E getting back with the. Uh, with good consistency, however, looking to uh, looking to prove something here. The Arc Thunder to the face. Mr. E's not dead yet. Yeah, I mean, you see Jewel doing a fantastic job just putting out those Arc Thunders on the edge of the stage. Really fantastic placement of that back air with the Levin sort of being able to find its mark, connect the dots, and take that stock from Mr. E. And now he's playing more passive. Look at him. He's chilling backwards. He's waving. He's finding his ways just throughout his projectiles and not really engaging like in melee combat against him. Yeah, you don't you don't want to be getting into a, a full on uh, parrying fencing fencing contest with Lucina. You're probably going to win just because I mean, especially in this game, speed kills Osti and oh my, the spiking hitbox that kills as well and with ruthless efficiency, Osti. Yeah, man, he just literally ran off there, did a downer. He recognized that Jewel was trying to go for recovery from down below. And now Jewel's not really, like, holding anything back right now. He got him, he lost his double jump, has a little bit of stage control here. Try to force Mr. E to land down. That could have been an opportunity to go for an arc fire. Really good tool at being able to catch some landings. As well as throwing it on the ledge, maybe to potentially get this edge guard against Mr. E. Now look at this. He's got him off stage. Look at these forward airs. And, you know, they just keep going back and forth. Which who, who Who's taking stage control right now, right? And Mr. E, perhaps he won. He'll be made to keep okay. the pedal on the metal, just like that. Jewel takes him down to his last stock. But you saw what uh, what allowed him to get back to the stage initially, Osti. The fact that, uh, really, Mr. E hesitated in swinging the sword. Jewel capitalizing on that with the down air to sweep him off of the stage and put Mr. E into disadvantage, allowing him to set up for the kill to begin with. 
And now E is looking for the snare one to try to connect that into a forward smash. You see him sitting at 10%, avoids the PK fire, but hold on a second. Jules just kind of stood there, was hoping for something else. But again, this is a race to two, I believe. Best two of three. I mean, honestly, he's one forward smash away from being from exploding. One up air, one forward smash, gets the next one more up air. He's looking for another one on the landing, but Mystery just playing safe, right? Lucina's up air is one of her safest tools to throw out in the middle of neutral. And he is one stock away, but it should be noted, this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. And look at that, Mr. E, the finish line in sight. He will be trying to cross it on winner's side in grand finals. My man literally just got up there and said, I'm, to I'm going to win grand finals. It's There's no contest here. And this is actually refreshing to see from Mr. E, right? Because we, there's been so many weeks that Mr. E will actually compete here. And especially in the early weeks where he just was having so much trouble finding his footing. Like, I, I felt like he just couldn't find a character that he connected with. He tried Wolf. He tried, uh, I believe he even tried Inkling at one point. He tried Marth. Now he's finally settling on Lucina, practicing her out, finally finding his way and bringing back his Smash 4 glory into today. I, w I would not be shocked if Mystery won this tournament. Yeah, I mean, he looked...